Hi there! Today I'm going to talk about my experience doing an exchange year in Japan. Hello there and welcome to my channel! This is gonna be my first video of my Exchange Year to Japan series, where I talk about how it was living in Japan, going to Japanese school, living with a Japanese family, the application process, and all that. Today's video is gonna be about how to apply for an Exchange Year. So if you're interested in living abroad or applying for an Exchange Year in Japan yourself, keep watching and subscribe. When I was 16, I decided I wanted to apply for an Exchange Year in Japan. I get the idea for this because a friend of mine applied to go for an Exchange Year in Sweden. And when she applied, I wondered if I could do something like that to Japan. It was a dream of mine to travel to Japan, but at that age you don't really have much resources and it's hard to go there by yourself unless it's an exchange year. In the beginning I thought I'm not gonna be able to go anyway because these programs are usually very expensive and I wasn't sure if I'm gonna be able to afford it. But despite all that I decided to get some more information and in the end ended up applying anyway. Now before you apply I'm sure you will want to know how much all of this will cost you. This again differs from destination to destination and depending on what country you live in. However, they do offer some scholarships and funding plans that you can apply for that cover either the whole program or parts of the cost. Now this goes for the German YFU, but usually the payment is split in three or so installments. But if that is difficult for your family to afford, they offer to work out an individual installment plan with you, which is amazing I think. In my case, a scholarship covering the full cost of the program was not available for Japan as the destination. So I applied for a partial scholarship and decided I'm gonna figure it out somehow in the end. As the application process went on though, and I passed the first step, I wasn't so sure anymore. Finally, one day on my way home from school, I actually decided to tell my mom that I don't want to go anymore because I was very concerned about covering the cost. So I mentally prepared myself to convince her that I simply don't want to go anymore and that it had nothing to do with affording it. Because I knew that she wasn't gonna hear any of that, if that was the reason. When I got home that day and I opened the door, I saw my mom being incredibly excited, a piece of paper in hand. I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Until she gave me the letter she had in her hand. I had to read this over a couple of times before I realized that I had just gotten a full scholarship from the city of Hiroshima covering the full cost of the whole program. To this day I still can't believe that this happened and I'm not entirely sure what I did to deserve this, but oh my god was I happy. At that time that was probably the happiest moment in my entire life. So I guess what I want to tell you with this is if you aren't sure whether your family or you are going to be able to afford this, just try, just apply. You never know what's going to happen. You might be surprised. Like always, if you don't apply, you will never know if you would have been able to go or not. Since I've been talking for quite a while now, I will talk about the details regarding the application forms and the interviews in the next video. So be sure to watch that as well. Now let me know in the comments below did you do an exchange year? Where did you go? And would you do it again? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to learn more about living in Japan and going to a Japanese school. And feel free to use your thumb to give me some feedback. If you have any further questions regarding this topic that you would like me to answer in a future video, please don't be shy and leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon! Bye!